Okay, and you guys broke up when? Good while now. Couple months. The post that she made, um, I thought that those posts were being somewhat malicious and she knew exactly what she was doing. Um, what exactly triggered that um, post? I don't know, sir, because I'm trying to move on and focus on myself. And mm. you're coming as accusation from when no long, where we'll already move on from because it's a regular relationship. What's up viewers, welcome back to another video. Today we have Johnny Brown speaking out on her past relationship with Shakira Richardson and also addressing the allegation of her being abusive. Also letting us know what transpired, what triggered the breakup, how long they have been in a relationship. She basically went the nine yards in this video. But before we get into the video, I'm going to ask you guys for two favors. One, press on the like button, it will be greatly appreciated. Also, subscribe that way you guys get all the updates whenever we drop a video. And with that, you help us to grow. So Janet Brown is now back on Instagram and she's ready to speak her truth. So viewers and sub is a very lengthy video so you guys have to watch it to the end to get the full details. And she's basically speaking about her whole entire situation surrounding the breakup with Shakira Richardson. Let me know what you guys think about this one in the comment section. <laughs> yeah. No, what are the phone from? What are you have to talk, right? Mm -hmm. um, so there's a lot of things in the media. So there's a lot of things that have been happening. Um, and people have been reaching out to me to reach out to you, but I was just allowing you to, you know, go through your own timing and things like that. Um, right. Firstly, let me just say to all the comments and to all the people who are making negative comments about your mental health, uh, if you're on this live, then this is not for you. So if you can just come off, please, and thank you. I appreciate that. You understand? Um, let me just ask you, what has been happening? What do you mean? Like that relationship? I've been transpiring. There are a lot of things in the media um, as it relates to this whole relationship and this whole toxic relationship and what has exactly been transpiring. Right. As far as I know, I'm yes. in a relationship that I outgrew and mm -hmm. want get the fuck out of there and it's all of a sudden it's a problem is we cannot leave i cannot make my own decisions we can't say what i want to be and who i want to be with i don't want to be that superstar that is not for me if that's not for me that is not for me what you guys have been together we have to try with the bad words sir, because it makes me what, what was that how long now have this relationship been going on Like two or two years. Um, so it wasn't a public relationship? No. You know about me too now, sir? Of you, yes, but I'm asking publicly because based on the comments based on Jamaicans, a lot of persons did not know about it. So I'm asking, was it a public relationship based on your part, like you wanted it to be public or it was not made public to be not yeah. made public to the yes. social, I know, but in we go in the public regularly, like for like regular people, but just not on social media because I don't care about social media. Well, that manu. Okay, and you guys broke up when? Good while now. Couple months. What's that she made? Um, I thought that those posts were being somewhat malicious and she knew exactly what she was doing. Um, what exactly triggered that um, post? I don't know, sir, because I'm trying to move on and focus on myself. And mm. you're coming as accusation from when no long, where we'll already move on from because it's a regular relationship. Also made some claims about domestic abuse. Um, yes. She made some claims that you were being abusive and your family was also um, mentally abusive to her as well. Is that true? Any at all? What, I don't know, whatever the family is, that is between them, because they never, they never have a good relationship in the first place. And I was, meant, I was abusive once, that there's physical evidence of, and we move on. And I, even after then, I was trying to move on from that, and we still, we still got nowhere. So if it's, a, if it's a, something for charge, make it charge, and let's go, we would, we would, whatever, what we need to do. Coming out big, no clothes. But then she made those claims, right? And you said that you abused her once, and then you move on, and then you get back together, and everything was good. Yes. Um, the 
relationship was toxic you've also said that um can you explain what exactly is the toxicness of this relationship everybody else argue no you, you come for the mic you say what is the toxic this relationship we just keep on a fight and i blame each other on the, the regular relationship problems sir mm. you know okay um just, and a lot of that where you don't like what i don't like where we where everybody don't like agree on disagreements regular stuff coming think it was a regular relationship okay also right been on social media since 2020 right um you don't care much for social media um anybody who's known you since then or know of you since then know that you don't really care much for it um you're back on social media now is this a way to clear your name in any way shape or form Yeah, I'm can come here and use my voice and show the youth them say even though them got through things that the corner. You feel me? It no really matter if them can get out of that. Not because the person of name and status. I don't care about that. It's a regular person. Treat you like a regular person cuz you're regular. Uh uh-uh, like we must just give and fucking get love. That's it. The yeah. people them out here and I've said it as I joined the live that um there are many people who are taking you being expressive and vocal as oh she got to shoot something or whatever the case is let's just clear that up right right yeah. here i was going through something as me say me find myself that's why i'm coming for the social media and thing you feel me so yeah it's a transformation and me find myself no me look different now so it's going to be like yo she crazy cuz different is crazy when i saw them things for me move different you crazy was the relationship not made publicly on social media because of the pop well of the potential backlash of Jamaicans and the homophobia especially in track and field um was it not made public just because of that or you just nobody care to post her up on social media here sir anytime yeah. run as fuck just do whatever you, know, you guys were together i say your post this and be strategic and them but they strategize and we find out and then a card in you that you guys were together then. all your friends and family members knew that you guys were together yes sir um do you also think that the rise in her career because she has kind of alluded um allegedly that this was also an issue in the relationship when she rose to stardom um this made the relationship kind of get more rocky no cuz i don't give a fuck as i said I don't mm-hmm. care it's and what you do and how much followers and subscribers you have and how much likes you get I treat you like a person cuz he's a fucking person I mean I give you away other people would not give you away really fucking supposed to get right I don't man me at all man things you know I listen to And you don't have to answer this question but were she also in any way abusive to you mentally or physically <sighs> mentally as fuck all of them everything every bumbo club thing but me na dey saw ball and a bumbo club be become no one clothes na me no one like some of views and no man comment me go deal with me thing on my own simple the the no new form a uh, interest with a lot of persons possibly reaching out to you and a lot of people possibly wanting to know um what exactly is going on with you you were going through a phase as you stated and you were kind of trying to get yourself right and better um in that process you kind of dropped track and field right right was right. that a toxic place for you yes yes do you want to share anything about that um in particular you know i mean in 2019 you were a record holder national record holder um yeah. in the hurdles so yeah. you were really doing great things in 2021 you also um signed with mvp international that was well last year yeah really, um, i mean i don't really care about all of them things anymore I'm not right here. so But, what was so toxic then about check and see what exactly happened because when i start when i start going to myself mm-hmm. right i'm focused on myself realize say this is not what I want to do and right. I'm more for them and things are going things just never just start work out and after so them can't understand certain things so many focus on myself every man every man I push me so me do want to do that too why every man I push me a place so me do want to that no sound right to me 
I want to do by yourself. If I don't want to do the mix with everybody else, I deserve to want to do the mix with everybody else. Mummy, not because you want me to run, I go run. I just express myself, people. Other people can relate, trust me. Can you also speak about that, though? Because there are some of us who are parents and family members and everybody around us that kind of try to push their narrative on us as it relates to our career path, right? right? And a lot of persons can't really understand. Um, once again, you were a very prof- prolific I'm not, I'm not doing great things. I'm passionate. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah what did I so, say? You were doing great things in track and field. Right? Um, people not understanding that and people not understanding that. Listen, um, As them do, don't but, want to do it anymore. No way, them no 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 other way. I just want yeah. it. Mommy, I, I track and feel like it and it, I do it. If it not work out for me, I go find another way. Even if I have followers and subscribers and likes and all of that, I go do it that way. Because that way, I'm happy. What is next for you um, professionally? What do you mean? But that's new phone one. journey. You're yeah, me here. Me I follow God and the most. Me I follow God <laughs> and me I me I do it every day. But we work on myself every day. We cannot fail. You see yourself ever being back friends or somewhat forgiving Shakari in any way, shape, or form? I forgive everybody. So that's why we have a light heart, and that's how we can keep on doing this every day. Honestly. I'm enough to forgive you for you, I forgive you for myself and move on. That's what you learn, you listen, you learn and listen, I listen. It's a journey. For the athletes also know who might be going through similar situations like you were going through in terms of everybody around them making choices for them. They're what afraid. they can do. They're not afraid. Yeah. They're not let's go. Nowhere else for make no money. They don't know what to do. I understand that fear. Every man I tell you for do this. finished with track and field that is just it for that path yes wait what was that and you're completely done with track and field completely completely finished <laughs> completely i don't need it i mean um, it's like free will thing like this if i can if i feel like i want to jump in a race why i can't do that if it's a free will anybody can do what they want to do i'm jamaican yes i'm aggressive i can't tell you something so all the persons watching, she's not upset. This is how she expresses herself. You understand? That's come on, do it. Come on, do it my way. Yeah. Every man yeah. can be yeah. I want to talk my truth my way. Aggressive as fuck. Final question now. Um, as it relates to relationships, um, would you go back into another relationship being that the last one was so toxic and do abuse and all of that? Well, I work on myself, sir. And I know yeah. what, to, what to do because I say I learn my lesson. If you may I say yeah. some work on myself, I'm work on myself every day. If if so if so I'm without God saying somebody, I'm gonna find somebody, then I'm not going to repeat that lessons from the other the previous relationship as me learn. Well, that is it for me, really and truly. I'm seeing some comments and I think that more persons want to ask you more questions. I'm going to be sending you a DM as well, because we need to talk about something very serious, alright? Alright, no problem, sir. Have a good day. Hey, you too. Mm-hmm.